Each batch we do, each mash we do, we use seven tons of malted barley. The malted barley is fed through the mill, ground into grist. We expect from one mash we get about approximately 20 barrels. We have six silos and this allows us to, to, to work with different varieties of barley. We, we're using different peatiness levels, we're using different strains, different varieties from different origins that we need to keep separate. Behind me you have the, the Robert Bobby dresser. This piece of equipment dates back to 1913. This basically just cleans up the malted barley of any dust or any uh, stones or anything that we pick up in transportation or anything. Uh, we feed the malted barley down above us here, it just slides down the slide and falls into the mill. There's uh, a set of rollers at the top, the grain falls down the middle of the rollers and gets crushed. At the bottom, what falls out is what we call grist. We've just basically broken up the malted barley so that we can then extract the sugar in the mashing process. After the rest is coming out the bottom of the mill, it's elevated up here, a long way up, the, right up to the top of the building, and then it's conveyed right across to the next building, to the mash house. And so we're going to start and get a mash on now. Okay, yeah. let's go. During the process of uh, mashing, we add four separate waters to the grist, to the ground down barley. The first one, uh, the first water we add, and the second water we add, are to extract most of the sugar. And the first and second water will be used uh, for fermentation. The third and fourth water get progressively hotter and we use them to extract the last remaining sugars from the, the barley. However, the third and fourth water is not strong enough, there's not enough sugar in there to use for fermenting. So these go back into the tanks they came from and will be used in the first and second water on the following mash. It's got historical marks on the inside. For each barley type, you've got a, a different mark for flow to start off with. There's a little window in the chute there. And if it's moving from there up, if it's flowing, we find we'll get it in. A bit of wood and string with a weight on the end and it, it marks as long as you get your length of string right, you're fine. After we've taken the four waters off the, the mash, we're left with the residue. We empty the mash tun and the farmer will then come and collect the draft and he will use this to feed to his cattle as cattle feed. It's very nutritional, it's good feed for the cattle and you know, it actually stays warm. When the cattle receive the draft, they get a, a nice warm meal. So this is the start of another batch of Brooklady.